for question 14, um, this is a real life application of uh, electricity and heat. Right, so this is where you start to see many of the questions these days, right, where you see multiple topics being put in the same question. So in this case, you have heat and electricity being put together. And this is a very common combination. Uh, heat and electricity is very, very common uh, type of question where you put these two together in the same question. Okay, so um, for 14, right, on cold mornings, the rear window of the car usually gets fogged up and the driver will switch on the heating element right, to clear the rear window. Right, so usually if you see this in a car, right, you go to a car park, you see like there's this yellow orange uh, lines at the rear windscreen, right? It runs on a zigzag S shape all over the windscreen, right? So this is the heating element, right? That actually helps clear up the fog, right? So the next thing is, yeah, okay. So the water droplets is what makes it blur, right? So you want to remove them, right? So you need to explain why it fogs up, right? So the fog is made up of, is it water vapor or water droplets? Come, what do you think? When it fogs up, is it water droplets or water vapor? Water what droplets. What do you think? Okay, what about Caitlin and one What do you think? Is it water droplets or water vapor? I want to the fog. Is a fog water droplet or water vapor? Water vapor. Oh, water droplets. Water droplets. Droplets. Jonathan, you say droplets, right? Yeah. Okay, what about Caitlin? What do you think, Caitlin? Is it droplets or vapor? Droplets. Okay, good. Uh, so the fog is actually water droplets. Okay, so it's actually water droplets on the rear window, okay? So you need to explain how the water droplets are formed, right? So what is the heat process that forms these water droplets? Condensation. Yes, very good. Okay, so you need to start... Okay, so in this case, right, when you explain, you are explaining a process, right? Okay, so what is the start of this process? What is the first thing that happens in this process? Water vapor like comes in the contact of like something like some. Okay, but it's the uh, very good, very good. So is the water vapor warmer than the window or cooler than the window? Warmer. Warmer, right? Okay, so in the cold mornings, the warmer water vapor near the rear window. Loses heat to who? Loses heat to what? Okay, can I just say the rear window? I already used warmer at the start, right? So can I just... What do I need to accompany Windows? the Windows? No. So is the window cooler or warmer? Cooler. Yes. Okay, loses heat to the cooler surface. of the rear window, right? So what happens next? Condensing to form what? You want the drop shot. Yes, okay. So you already talked about the heat exchange, right? So when you write such question, right, there are three important parts to it, right? So the first one is your heat exchange. The second one is your heat process. And then the third one is your outcome. Okay, so when you write such heat um, questions, right, always remember this writing structure. Right? It always has to start with your heat exchange first, then what is the heat process that is taking place, and then you write about your outcome. Okay, this is important. Okay? Uh, Sharon, can you hear now? Yeah, it's okay now. Okay, so sometimes um, my zoom my zoom today is just a bit weird. It's kicking me off. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, no worries, no worries. Okay, so this is the writing structure. So the first one is your heat exchange, right? So the second one will be your heat process, right? Condensing. To form. 
water droplets. Right, so this is your second step, right? Condensing to form water droplets. And then the third one is the outcome, which talks at the rear window on cold mornings. Okay, so you realize that there are three parts to it, right? So I'll do a use a highlighter to make it a bit more obvious. Right, so heat exchange, heat process outcome. Right, so part one, part two, part three. Right, so please label down uh, your okay. Please write your writing structure. Right, your your one two three, and then go and label which part of the answer refers to which part. Okay, so this is important uh, So this helps you structure your answer very clearly. Right, and write it in a manner that can secure marks in your exam. Okay, this is important. 